Hello, Outlets, and Happy New Year. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Shameless Plugs. I am J.A. George, and joined as always by... Samantha the Rider. Yes. It is our New Year's <laughs> episode. Depending on when you are listening to us, you are either getting ready mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. the new year, or you're already living in the new year, you time traveler, you. You. <laughs> <laughs> And if you really do know how to time travel, stop by and let us know how that works. That'd yeah. be really cool. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> some recent events I might want to change. But uh, anyway. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, anyway. Um, yes, this is our New Year's episode. We are going to be celebrating New Year's by bringing back some of our favorite guests mm-hmm. who will be talking about their writer resolutions for 2019. Um, you know, New Year is always a time. New, new beginning. People go into the new year with lofty goals. and The gym gets crowded. Yeah. Yes, it does, and it's really annoying. (laughs) It's so annoying. I go at 4.30 for a reason, people. I don't want to see you. (laughs) You just got my hackles all up. I know. You just got my hackles all up. I did it on purpose. I'm aware. Anyway, um... Yeah, new year, new possibilities. So we are going to be discussing what we're going to be trying in the new year, what mm-hmm. we're going to be doing different. And like I guess that some of our favorites will be joining us and talking about what they're planning on doing in the new year as well. So are we ready to get into it? Yeah, I think so. Do you want to go first or do you want me to? Um, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my... Um, Writer resolution for this year is to finally put the end on the utopia. Ah, yes. Because it has been uh, rattling around in my brain for a bit now, and I think uh, the direction is solidified. The uh, the beginning is good, the middle is good, and I just need to get that ending on there. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping in the uh, the new year that I can finally put some closure into my world. Is that actually possible for a pantser, or are you just going to roam around for another, you know? Hey, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have a little bit of free time here, so uh, there's probably true. some roaming that's going to happen, and, yes. uh, but no, I think, I mean, I think I can do it. Okay. You know? I think you can too, I'm just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to eventually. Yeah. Well, you don't have to. I mean, you could, I could just keep wandering I could aimlessly. could roam forever. You could. Could. I mean, that would mean that I'm a writer forever. I don't. I don't think that that's your best plan, but it is possible. <laughs> no, it, is, it will probably not be too beneficial for the whole publication thing. No, no, but, not so much. Uh, yeah, so that's um, that is my goal to put the end on the novel. To All right. Tie up some loose ends and to finish it off. All so. right. That's a good goal. Yeah, I hope so. I hope I hope 2019 is uh, favorable to that. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> we will see. Yes. So that's the that's the biggest one, and then maybe uh, maybe try to start something new because okay. it's been it's been a while since I've gotten a new novel idea. Yeah. We do the prompts and right. we do a lot of short stuff. But, yeah. Um, you know, maybe try to get to know a new character or two. I've got the ideas. I just don't have time to write them. Yeah, yeah, that that is also true. But yeah, just uh, you know, see, look at my world and see what mm-hmm. I can come up with. All right, it's a good goal. Thank you. So I have two, and they're actually both kind of related to something you said and mm-hmm. something that uh, I said just a minute ago. Um, I'm not going to air dirty laundry, but uh, earlier this year, something happened in real life that affected both Samantha and I. Mm -hmm. It uh, created some turmoil and some upheaval, and it uh, lessened some writerly activities. I'll just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, I'm not really going to get into the details, um, but my two resolutions are both related to that. making time to write again because Mm -hmm. it's been several months since I've really devoted. I went from being just about to sending out query letters to everything coming to a grinding halt. Now, Mm -hmm. granted, part of that is actually related to I got a new idea where as much as I hate prequels, and I hate prequels, I really do not like prequels. To be discussed on another episode. Yes, (laughs) yes. I, I, 
there are some prequels that are done well, but the vast majority are just tripe, in my opinion. I'm sorry. I hate them. So, Good word. I am hoping that... Good word. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I am hoping that uh, I can fall into the camp of prequels done well, because I had an idea to um, write a prequel to um, the first novel in my six novel series, which I guess just makes it a seven novel series. Sort of. Sort of. Anyway, I need to devote the time to writing that. Um, I would like to, before the end of 2019, have that out to agents um, seeking representation. So my nice. resolution is to make the time to write and have my prequel novel out for query before mm -hmm. the end of the year. I like it. My other resolution is because of the writerly interest going, <laughs> being curtailed a bit, uh, my interest in Twitter waned, mm -hmm. but I really like Twitter. Mm -hmm. I like the writing community on Twitter quite a bit. Um, the daily prompts are, you know, I mentioned this in our uh, conversation with Lillian, that it's guerrilla writing. It's guerrilla mm -hmm. boot camp, writing boot camp, um, forcing you to be more succinct and everything else. So I want to get back into that. Um, I want to reach out and connect with more writers and more readers and everything else, but uh, <clears throat> the interest just waned because of the real life event that mm -hmm. threw your host into some upheaval earlier this year, a couple months ago. So, And I guess similarly, we should probably do the same thing with Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, probably true. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, more writing. More writing. And more. better social media. Yes. yes. Outreach. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Those are my resolutions. Mm -hmm. So, those are my two, two goals for 2019. So, Nice. Well, are we ready to hand off the torch to our uh, guests? I think we're ready to turn it over. Yeah. So uh, listen in. Pay attention to what these people have to say because they're great and we love them. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. All of them. Yeah, exactly. And again, and you'll get a, a brief preview of some people who are coming up. Yep. So uh, jot yep. those names down. Yeah, exactly. Hi, guys. It's Lillian Blair. Um, my goals for 2019 are pretty basic. Um, I want to read more and write more, obviously. Um, I am working toward getting my most recent manuscript published. I'm hoping to have that come to fruition in 2019. And the last thing that I am aiming toward is to explore other writing genres beyond uh, romance. I have a young adult fantasy idea that I'm really excited about and, and want to explore, so that's what I'm going to be doing in 2019. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Thanks, guys. Hello, this is Mark Dubovec, and these are my writer's resolutions for 2019. Uh, I'm planning to publish a children's book sometime in the near future. That's taken care of. I'm also planning to finally, after six years or so of on and off work, finishing my zombie novel. That it'll be called The Lazarus Laws. I'm also going to edit two completed manuscripts for projects I've worked on, Scapegoat and Morningstar. Uh, I also plan to participate in NaNoWriMo again. That's how I got Morningstar, and that was a very rewarding and fulfilling activity to do, and I plan to do it again. I also hope to eventually make the plunge and become a full-time writer at some point. That was a book overwriting for a while we were working for it. So you can find me on my blog, dubosden.blogspot.com, or on Twitter, at duboduke. And Happy New Year! Hi, everybody. It's Stephen M. Neto, author of the Stone Web Back by Shameless Podcast. Uh, talking a little bit about my New Year's resolution. Well, we all have them, don't we? Everybody has something that they want to do better, some way to improve themselves. And I think one of my issues has been I write at lunch. Uh, if you've listened to previous podcasts, uh, that's when I do my writing. Uh, actually, it's going to be in an upcoming podcast. Anyways, uh, I write at lunch, but I also like to work out. If I don't work out, I don't feel good at all. And sometimes when I sit down to write and I haven't gotten a workout in, I don't know. Should I, I feel guilty about writing? 
and I feel guilty that I should be working out. So my New Year's resolution is to work out on the way to work, on the way to my day job, so that when I get to my lunch, I've had my workout in, all the guilt is gone, and I can put down the words. And that's my New Year's resolution. Well, uh, anybody else have one? You guys, back to shameless plugs. So there you have it. Writer resolutions for 2019 from us, from some of our favorites. What are yours? Yeah. Talk what, to us. What are you what do you want to do in 2019? Let us know. I may even call some of you out on Twitter. Since oh, I'll be man. more active, I may call you out. We'll, we'll Dangerous. see. Dangerous. <laughs> no, it's great. We um, we adore hearing from you. So mm-hmm. please uh, talk to us. Let us know what's going on. Like I said, we'll uh, get that social media thing going again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so happy 2019. Alice. Yes. Yes, Happy New Year, and we will see you in a couple weeks. Bye. Bye. Bye.